What's the sign? You know, they take many forms, but certainly signs in the sky have always been signs from the Father. And there are some amazing things going on in the sky. Ancient times, humans have looked to the sky with both reverence and fear. We saw it during the American eclipse, and we're about to witness it again. We show you in this Arklatex and Death Report, it is evoking a sense of doom, and it's something that's been predicted for eons. On September 23rd, 2017, some televangelists and YouTube enthusiasts predict a planetary alignment will fulfill a cryptic scripture, the sign based on the book of Revelation, chapter 12, verses 1 and 2, foretells the end times and deep sorrows for the nations. These constellations are lining up. This is what Revelation 12 is talking about. Every single thing that's going to happen on September 23rd factually is mentioned in a book that's 2,000 years old. Listen! And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity the sea and the waves roaring men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking upon the things that are coming on the earth for the powers of heaven shall be shaken and when these things begin to come to pass look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draweth near there will be signs in the sun in the moon and in the stars there is activity in the sun and the moon and the stars they got white folks shook up they see an uncommon out of the ordinary movement of the planets they see them lining up listen there will be signs in the sun in the moon and in the stars they see sunspot activity on the surface of the sun and the sun belching out fire think about the sun a ball of fire with sun rays shooting out from the surface of the sun oh yeah brother the sun is shooting out flames of fire when that happens it disturbs the uh, atmosphere and cuts into the communications it brings up storms storms on the sun brings up its counterpart it begins to blast with weather that burns the earth oh yeah brother there will be signs in the sun in the moon and in the stars Listen, you have no power when Allah begins to disturb the elements, the sea, and the waves, roar. And when these things begin to come to pass, look up and lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth near. There will be signs in the sun, in the moon, and in the stars. Nobody's going to acknowledge the symbols that are literally in the sky right now. You won't hear anyone saying that these actually...
perform symbols relating to our people here, right here in the Americas. against America and the first one was unusual rain unusual snow unusual hail unusual earthquakes and what made me want to call a press conference was to warn America that a major earthquake is on the way to you and me and us.
for some food in your homes, groceries that will allow you to be in your homes for two to three weeks or two to three months. But when that great earthquake comes, it won't make any difference what you have in your pantry. But it is coming. And I pray that America will recognize that black folk are nothing for you to play with. God, when he sends a warner, the Quran says, he seizes the people with distress and affliction that they might humble themselves. With Moses, he prayed that God would destroy the wealth of Pharaoh because his people were enamored with Pharaoh's wealth. So if Pharaoh's wealth were destroyed, the people would have nothing to look to Pharaoh for. Then they would be willing to leave Pharaoh and do something for themselves. How's America's wealth today? How is she doing financially? What is the deficit? Some say it's about 56 trillion dollars counting Social Security, Medicare, Medicare. That's a big number. She's printing money. There's nothing backing it. The dollar is buying less today than yesterday. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad said that there were four great judgments. And the last of those judgments was earthquakes. And he told me that there would be one coming that would be so great not just one city would come down, many. Now the reason that judgment is on America, the reason that his anger is kindled against America and his threat to destroy America, it is because what America has done is doing and plans to do against the people that God has chosen. The black man and woman of America, whom I have declared to the world of religion, Christians, Muslims, and Jews, that we are the children of Israel, and we are the fulfillment of God's prophecy and promise. And this is why God is asking for separation in a state or territory of our own. All praise is due to Allah. I'm afraid for your life and that's why I must speak bold truth regardless to the consequence the white man's world is coming down he knows it you know it and the death angel will stop at every house except those houses that have the blood of a lamb with an X mark on a gatepost. Once the death angel sees that mark, it will pass over your house and strike every house that does not have that mark. So the Jews celebrate Passover because in that day they said they had the right sign and the right mark on the gatepost when the death angel came through. Well, I'm here to tell you, Jews of America, Jews of the world, white people of America, white people of the world, black man of America, black man of the world, the death angel is now inside the house. And if you don't have the right mark on your uh, lit, uh, uh, gate post, he will take the firstborn, death will strike in every house. Surely man is in law, except those who believe, live the life 
that is exemplified by the Jesus have the right mark unless you're living the right life surely man isn't lost except those who believe and are the doers of good all praise is due to Allah I'm afraid for your life look at what is written here in the book of Revelation in the seventh chapter the first second and third verses listen to these words and after these things I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth holding the winds the four winds of the earth that the wind should not blow on the earth nor on the sea nor on any tree I saw another angel ascending from the east having the seal of the living God and he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea saying hurt not the earth neither the sea nor the trees until we have sealed the servants of our God in their forehead with the seal of the living God. All praise is due to Allah. I am afraid for your life. Think about this. The four winds are being held back until you God's elect are sealed here in your forehead with the knowledge of God the knowledge of yourself and the knowledge of the enemy of God that sealing is going on right now and then it goes on to say that a hundred and forty four thousand were sealed and the honorable Elijah Muhammad wrote for the pain of such loss of a people of 46 million that only 144,000 will accept the seal of the living God look at your actions you have been sealed in your forehead with the mark of the beast and that's why you think the way you think and that's why your hands are doing the deeds that they do and your feet are walking the path that you are walking but the angels are holding back the four winds but they are about to be turned loose all praise is due to Allah I'm afraid for your life Oh, brothers and sisters, the world is heading into a war like this earth has never seen. And the winds of war will blow from every corner of the earth. It will hurt the earth. It will hurt the sea. Great storms will arise. And if you think that your submarines in the depth of the sea, like Leviathan, I have any refuge the honorable Elijah Muhammad taught me how God will bring your ships up from the depth of the sea and crush them in front of your eyes with the power of the wind and the water oh you are in a terrible state thinking that you have power to fight with God so you think you are God so you want to show yourself as God oh brothers and sisters oh brothers and sisters the world is heading into a war like this earth has never seen all praise is due to Allah I'm afraid for your life oh brothers and sisters I must speak bold truth regardless to the consequence the white man's world 
It's coming down. He knows it. You know it. Oh, brothers and sisters. The shock of the hour. It is the time of the end of the white man's world. The whole thing is 